Hi, I'm Sarah and welcome to Rich Textures Crochet on YouTube. Let's crochet something beautiful today. Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the men's classic beanie, which is the beanie that you see here in this photo, uh, as well as right here, very up close. Uh, as you can see in the photo, this pattern includes two variations. It includes a variation that uh, has no brim and also it includes one that has a brim. So depending on uh, your personal preference and style, uh, this hat is a little bit adjustable. It will fit an adult or teenage uh, man or woman. It is uh, approximately, has approximately a 20 to 21 inch circumference. The fabric that you work up is actually quite stretchy as you can see because of this ribbing that is there. It looks like it's knit. I'll show you the one without a brim. It looks like it's knit but it is actually all 100% crochet and again there you can see that stretch. So it's a nice snug fitting hat. It's made with this sugar bush rapture yarn, which is very, very, very soft. Uh, it's a 50% merino blend and llama blend. So it's very, very soft. It holds its shape quite well. Um, and I absolutely love this yarn. You can check out their website there and uh, at sugarbushyarns.com and there you can find all the array of colors and lots of other gorgeous premium yarns as well. So for this pattern if you are working the hat without a brim you are going to need one skein so 100 grams of this worsted weight yarn it's about 200, uh, 200 yards 211 yards for the one without the brim. If you are going to do the hat with the brim, you're going to want to grab an extra skein of the yarn. You'll use about one and a half of these, so about 300 yards of worsted weight yarn in order to complete this pattern. It's worked kind of uniquely. You're going to be working uh, it sideways and I will demonstrate how that is done. It has worked as one piece with a seam up the back, but because of the stitching, uh, the seam blends in quite well. So it in fact looks quite seamless. So along with your worsted weight yarn, you're also going to need a six millimeter crochet hook and a pair of scissors and a yarn needle for weaving in your ends. Also, don't forget to pick up the free written pattern on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com and that note is linked direct, uh, that pattern is linked directly there in the video notes uh, of this tutorial. While you're here, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's updated weekly with free crochet patterns such as this one and stitch tutorials. Once you have all your materials together, we will get started. Okay, so as I mentioned, the, the construction of this hat is fairly unique. You are going to be working it uh, kind of sideways, and you're going to be working, I'll show you here, um, I've taken out the top of my hat. You're going to be working from the top of the hat, which is uh, crocheted around this loop, down to the bottom. So you're working it in rows back and forth uh, sideways and I'll show you how that is going to be done here in just a sec. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your yarn and you're going to start by making your slip knot. You're then going to begin by making a chain of 12 chains. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Once you have chained 12, being careful not to twist that chain, you're going to join with a slip stitch in that first stitch. You're now going to kind of set that loop aside and you're going to make a second chain. Now the second chain depending on whether you're working it with a brim or without, uh, you will work a uh, different number. So if you are working the hat to make a fold over brim 
such as this one right here, you are going to start with it or continue with a chain of 66 chains. If you are making one like this one that does not have a brim, you are going to start uh, by chaining 56. So that's what I'm going to do here for us today. I'm going to chain 56. Again, if you want to have a brim, you will want to chain 66. So go ahead and work your chain 56 chains long and then meet me back here. Okay, so once you have chained 56 or 66 chains, this is what you're going to have. You're going to have a smaller loop here up at the top and your long chain uh, work down here. Now this long chain is what you're going to be primarily working into from now on. So for row one, you're going to start by single crocheting in the second chain from hook and in each stitch across. So count in from your hook, there's one and there's two and you're going to single crochet into that second chain and then you're going to single crochet in each chain all the way across. So when you come back uh, to, or come to the end of your chain, you're going to end up at that smaller loop that you started with, okay? So single crochet in each chain all the way across. At the end of this row, you will either have 55 or 65 single crochet stitches. So I'm just coming up on my last two single crochet stitches here of my chain and now I've come back to this loop here at the very beginning. Now what I'm going to do is when I reach that loop and this is going to happen every time you complete a row that ends at this loop, you're going to simply insert your hook through the big loop and you're going to slip stitch into the center of it just like that. You're then going to chain one and turn your work and get ready for row two. For row two, you're going to work in the back loop only and you're going to skip those first two slip stitches. You're not going to work in those. And then working in the back loop only. So to find your back loop, you're going to take a look at the top of your stitch and you can see that there's this V here. The back loop is the loop that is furthest away from you. So working in the back loop only, you are going to slip stitch in each stitch all the way across. Remember, you will not work in those uh, slip stitches that you uh, ended and started your row with. They do not count as stitches. You're only working in the, at this point, the single crochet stitches of the row below. Always work in that back loop only, and you're going to slip stitch all the way across. When you come to the end of your row, this time that'll be this end down here, you're simply going to chain one, turn, and slip stitch your way back. And that is going to be row uh, three. So continue to slip stitch all the way across. Then chain one, turn your work and slip stitch all the way back for row three. I'm now nearing the end of row three here. So I slip stitch in the back row, a uh, back loop only all the way across, turn, chained one and turned and slip stitch all the way back in the back loop only. I'm now back up at this loop. Once I reach that loop again, you're going to slip stitch into the center of that loop and then turn your work. Chain one and turn your work. For row four, you're going to continue what you were just doing. Again, skip those two slip stitches. Uh, slip stitch in the back loop only all the way across uh, for row four. So you're going to have a total of three rows of slip stitches always working in the back loop only. The rest of this pattern is always worked in that loop. 
silver row four, uh, turn your work, slip stitch in each of the slip stitches across, except for the first two turning ones, and uh, when you come to the end, chain one and turn. Okay, at the end of row four, you're going to chain one and turn your work. And you can see uh, that you have these raised stitches here. And that, this is the right side of your work and this is where your ribbing is going to show up. Okay, now for the rest of the pattern, you are essentially going to be repeating rows one to four until the work from the beginning measures about 18 inches or your desired size. So if you'd like a hat that's a little bit smaller, then you can um, you can work until it measures a little bit smaller or larger. It's up to you. Remember that the hat has quite a bit of stretch, which is why I only worked it to about 18 inches because it does stretch quite a bit. Um, but again, if you'd like it larger or smaller, you can adjust your uh, length as you wish. So then for row five, you've chained one, you've turned, you're still working in the back loop only. And you are going to single crochet in each stitch all the way across. And so you're going to repeat um, the single crochet row followed by three rows of slip stitches. Always remember when you come back to that ring that you started with that you're slip stitching into the center of the ring and what that's going to do is it's going to join your fabric all the way around as you come to the end which I will show you in a few moments uh, you will see that your fabric is bunching a little bit um, but that's okay you're going to keep going and uh, get as many rows of stitches uh, slip stitched into that ring as, uh, as necessary. Okay, so row five, your single crochet, six, seven, eight are going to be your slip stitch rows, and you're essentially going to repeat that pattern over and over again until your work from the beginning measures about 18 inches. Then meet me back here, I'll show you how to put it all together. Okay, so welcome back. So now um, you will have worked, you'll have repeated those rows one to four until your work from the beginning measures 18 inches and you're measuring it from here down at this longer end. So from here all the way over to here equals about 18 inches. And this is what it kind of looks like. When you go up to the top, you'll see you have your loop here and eventually you can cut off that end uh, and weave it in. Um, your loop here is where you have slip stitched into the center so it kind of brings it all in together. Now what we want to do is we want to join these two long ends. So what you're going to do is you're going to turn your hat inside out. So you want the ribbing, the right side, which is this right here, you want that facing in and you're going to bring your two sides together. Your yarn should be down here at the bottom and there's no need to fasten it off yet, okay? So what you're going to do is you're going to join these two sides together and we are going to do a crochet join. So what I like to do is I like to chain one and now holding both sides together I work in the back loop only of each side. I'm going to work through both pieces of fabric. And I'm going to slip stitch my way across. So inserting my hook into the back loop only of that first piece of fabric, into the back loop only of that second piece of fabric, I'm going to slip stitch. And I'm going to do that all the way across. So in the next stitch, back loop only. The next stitch on the opposite side, back loop only. And slip stitch 
all the way across. I'm going to work my way up to the top of the hat. Just like so. So just keep going. Working those back loops only, you should have the wrong side facing. This is going to be your seam, and you want the sort of messy side of the seam to show up there and back on the inside of your hat, not on the outside. When you come back up to that center loop, you are then once again going to slip stitch just into the center of that and that's going to join uh, your yarn together. You can then fasten off, and I would fasten off leaving a long tail. Okay. Once you have fastened off, and again, you should have a nice, tight uh, slip stitch crochet steam, seam there on your hat. You're going to take your yarn needle and you're simply going to sew the top of your hat closed. And again, I'd recommend having it still uh, wrong side facing you. And how you sew it together uh, is up to you. I am just going to do a quick running stitch here, pulling it tight all the way across. Just like so and I'm just doing this quickly show you give you an idea here on the video again you might have a better method just simply sew across just like so when you come to the end you're going to tie it off and fasten off then you can turn your hat right side out. You will have a nicely closed seam there up at the top and your hat will be complete. And that's all there is to making this classic men's beanie. So thank you so much for joining me once again. Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel which is updated weekly with free crochet patterns and tutorials. Until next time, happy crocheting. Bye.